David asks, how do you decide the next city to give a speech? You go to different cities and give insightful speeches, and also have a happy hour with your patrons. But how do you decide which one will be the next city and country? Uh, David, this is a uh, complex logistics operation that involves uh, sifting through a whole bunch of invitations. Um, I receive on average one or two invitations a day, and sometimes up to three or four invitations per day to participate in a variety of events, from very large international conferences down to uh, meetups uh, or small localized events. I have to sift through these more than a thousand invitations a year to figure out which ones I want to go to. And fortunately, because of the support of Patreon, I, I have staff who help me with this process, uh, who help me basically organize and categorize, vet and review the various invitations, and then make decisions about how we can take these and assemble them into a schedule that makes sense. Uh, generally speaking, lately I've been trying to do more of a tour approach to this, um, so that I'm not um, traveling continuously throughout the year, and I can do other things like write my new book, uh, and participate in video conferences, and do interviews, and things like that. Um, so in that case, what I'm trying to do is create an itinerary for a tour, uh, like the one we did recently in Europe, where I can visit many cities uh, in a row, and do a, a whole bunch of events in one go. I like to go to cities that I haven't been before, but I also uh, have to and want to visit cities where there's a vibrant community and uh, where I have visited uh, several times before, but it's important to visit again. So I try to keep that balance um, between visiting new cities and, and revisiting cities where there's a vibrant community. Um, I have to decide which events are the most appropriate. Some events are for mainstream audiences, some events are more community oriented. And again, I want to keep that balance between um, working with the community and helping build community in various cities by creating um, you know, educational opportunities and excitement around uh, open blockchains and working with the various local groups, as well as uh, doing mainstream conferences where I can speak to audiences that have never heard about this technology or have only heard the kind of very surface, uh, very boring corporate propaganda and marketing, um, or the very negative media coverage. Uh, so I can bring a new perspective to audiences like. Um, developer conferences um, and startup conferences that are not focused on open blockchains. And uh, finally, it's also uh, about my personal capacity to travel and you know my desire to see uh, many different places around the world. All of these considerations go into it, and then there's a very complicated. Um, logistics dance to figure out uh, how to build these. The uh, bottom line is, uh, if you want me to come to an event in a city near you, and I haven't been there, please send me an invitation. My website has a form specifically for that purpose, uh, aantonopcom conference You can find it there. And um, I look for very specific things when I'm being invited to a conference, and I prioritize the ones that have a community involvement. So. Uh, either are organized and delivered for the community, or there is heavy involvement by the community in the conference. Ones that have an educational mission as their primary purpose. Um, ones that have uh, topics and speakers that are promoting uh, valid educational opportunities, or not um, pay-for-play conferences. I don't do conferences where sponsors are given a speaking slot. Um, ones that have. Uh, um, uh, low-cost tickets um, for students, or just generally low-cost tickets, so that they are open to a broad audience that can afford to attend them as much as possible. And uh, finally, I look for ones that have diversity in the lineup of the speakers and in the way the community manages events in general, where they encourage the participations of broad ranges of people. Uh, from the local community, um, and they have the appropriate code of conduct uh, to make the conference a productive, educational, and safe environment for everyone. So all of these considerations go into it, and then um, I pick a city and I come visit. Um, hopefully, one of these days it will be um, your city, David. Although you didn't say in your question which city that is. <laughs>